Beanie Man condemns extreme dancing in dancehall, an issue that has received international attention. The dancehall king also apologizing for something he did to a female fan at Chug It, and will also be talking about everything else, from Drake controller to Vibes Carter's King of the Dancehall album. His new love and more. Juna Kelly, 10 albums later. Hi, Lola, my love. Oh, your body shape like a buckle. And as third generation Marley's race to the front line to make their contribution in preserving the Reggae King's legacy, Joe Mercer makes his very first appearance on our stage. Whoa. Those stories, plus this week's e news, reviews, and more are all coming up. Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm Winfred Williams. We'll be right back. Tell them how we run road, you know. How we run road. Tell them how we run road, you know. How we run road. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Welcome back. These are the stories making our e-news and reviews this week. Rumor has it that the US visa of dancehall artist Alkaline has been revoked because of an unreleased song that is allegedly politically charged and calls for violence against homosexuals. Well, according to management, it is what it is, a mere rumor, and a statement from the artist's sister has been released, denying the claims and chalking it up to unscrupulous persons on an unending campaign to smear the artist's image. Alkaline is currently overseas fulfilling a series of dates and is still basking in the success of his new level unlocked EP that made him the first dancehall artist since 2011 to have a number one on the Billboard Reggae Albums chart. Drake's Views album has been a topic of major discussion in the Jamaican diaspora for several reasons. The popcorn controller controversy, several samples from Jamaican artists throughout the album, and of course, Drake selling the most albums in a week since the year started, beating out Beyonce, who held the record just a week before the release of Views. But how is the album doing right now? Well, one week after its debut at number one on the Billboard chart, Drake's Views is still the number one album in the US and home country Canada while holding down the number 4 position in the UK after debuting at number 3. Overall, Views is ranked the third best-selling album in the world this week. <laughs> the Kling Kling Oval Olympic Way Kingston on Thursday night. An epic battle between two heavyweights in the sound system game. Tony Matterhorn and Fire Links. <laughs> the large audience in the venue spoke volumes to the importance of the final match in the Boom All Star Sound Clash for 2016. Five big rounds, among them 45s, gospel songs, and a tune for two. Tony Matterhorn started the war with juggling. Then came the hardball file links, and before he ever played a tune, he had the edge with crowd support. Hola, 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 hola. And the crowd support for file links throughout the night wasn't a fluke. He was the real deal and came prepared for combat, crushing his opponent with ease and confidence. He put in some real creative work. Thanks be to God, the crowd, you know. They receive it and you know, we give thanks. Tony Matterhorn blamed the judges. He cursed the audience. He spoke of faulty equipment. But we don't like unfair things. The crowd done a big scroll. I mean I work with it. But then then a judge of a tap or buy laptop. Oh yes, a judge of a setup. But for the judges and the audience, the win for Fire Links was fair, convincing, and final. The audience believed that he was being a sore loser. Do you agree? Yeah, a slow loser. Most of the songs them want play, some songs want have for me and him are fully loaded. And him does fly them back for the next with him. That's why I call him Frequent Flyer. <laughs> Tony Matterhorn declined to respond to his loss. Nevertheless, the Boom Energy Drink team couldn't be happier with the overall result of this year's All-Star Series. 
preserve the dancehall culture. Um, a lot of people don't want to support it. They said it's not clean. It, it, it's, you know, but we love what the Jamaican people love. We want, we, we have to embrace what is ours and we have to preserve it as, as best as possible. So that's what we do with the, with the song clash. Gospel frontman Kevin Downswell is taking his career all the way. All of this is just amazing. His 17-track third studio album of that same title will be officially released on June 4. I want, I want people to realize that the album is a light. Because there's a lot of people who are in darkness. And darkness don't have to mean literal darkness. But you're in darkness, uh, financial darkness. All kind of darkness. Sickness darkness. You're sick, you can't find a way. This album will take you through. This, you might find yourself in a situation where you listen to the album and you get so much faith that healing comes. This album is a platform, it's a tool to take you from maybe defeat to victory. Media and other specially invited guests got a taste of the album via Quiet Headphones JA on Tuesday night at Jampro in New Kingston. The support from the media, support from the artists, support from and my team support from everybody it's it's a blessing downswell will be bringing the album to the people via an island-wide tour starting on the album's release date june 4 at the rani williams entertainment center june 11 Montego Bay community college june 12 mannings high school um, that's of uh, june 17 ocherius high school june 18 port antonia high we we'll wrap it up in mandeville at ncu gymnatorium the experience, we want to take it to you guys. We don't just want to hug it up in Kingston alone. We know Kingston is going to love it, but we want to take it to the rest of Jamaica. And then we depart Jamaica and take it to the rest of the world. I'm a big deal. Christopher Martin is among the free of artists from Jamaica who are a big deal in the motherland. The Cheetah Spria artist headlined his own show on April 29 in Harare, Zimbabwe. Like Busy Signal did last year, Martin received a hero's welcome at the airport two days before. Then on show night, a mammoth crowd turned up at the Glamis Arena where fellow artist D Major and local acts rounded off the night. All right, stay with us still to come right here on stage. Be the man condemns extreme dancing in dancehall. An issue that has received international attention. The dancehall king is also apologizing for something he said to a female fan at Chug It. And we'll also be talking about everything else. From Drake Controller to Vibes Cartel's King of the Dancehall album. His new love and more. Juna Kelly up front on our stage. 10 studio albums later. And as third generation Marley's race to the front line to make their contribution in preserving the Reggae King's legacy, Joe Mercer makes his very first appearance on our stage. Stay with us, we will be right back. Comfortable with the rebel so she likes it. When are we want, she knows she can't fight it. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back. Most people will agree that second generation Marleys have stepped up to the challenge of not only preserving their father's rich legacy in reggae, but to also expand the Marley bloodline in the music. Once I was a little child. This as third generation Marleys have arrived and are already charging to the front line in the form of Skip Marley, son of Sidella Marley. So let it all out. Daniel, son of Ziggy Marley. Yohan and Joe Mercer Marley, sons of Steve Marley. Joe Mercer joins us right now, right here on stage for the very first time with his latest project. Joe, good to have you, sir. Good to have you on the stage, sir. All right, so this is a visit to Jamaica or a visit home? How do you call it? A visit home. Home. Yeah. Jamaica is always home for you. Yeah. Well, but you spend a lot of time in Florida, I take it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Talk about your, your rise in music, because you started very, very early. But, but pick up and tell me, when did it really start in getting serious? Um, well, that's some more, more early teenage years. It, it started getting a lot more serious, more focus on my lyrics and, and production, rhythms and them things there. Mm -hmm. um, 
me and my cousin them, Daniel, my brother Johan, Skip, all Jesse Ryan and them and the every the whole of it. Mm. Um, and later on we, we when we leave cause we have to have the balance of school and all of that. So when we left school now and every man pushing out more more and more material mm -hmm. things just start manifest. So while going to school there was there was no question about what you want to do when you're finished. No. No, no, no. I, um, music already decided that for me. <laughs> <laughs> music owned you from, uh, from, yeah. from as early as then. Yeah. All right, so, so you, you've, got, you've gotten some, some valuable exposure with your uncles, right? And your father mm -hmm. out there in the big world of reggae. At the Marley level at that, talk a little bit about that. Where are some of the places you've been exposed to and stages? Um... All over Europe and, and America, and I just, all over, man. Mm -hmm. Enough places where, where just the reaction of the people alone just make you know, say, you, you feel the power in the music. Okay. Yeah. So when it, they put you out there and say, go, take a taste of this, and you, you how shy were you? Were you shy about it? Yeah, um, yeah, I was at first, yeah, but. Because it's still, it's still, no matter the name or what, people still, where you just look and say, all right, what do we expect? What will we get from you now? So it's still, mm -hmm. it's still, I wouldn't even call it shy. I would have more call it like my anxious. I'm really anxious for more. Let's go out there. And, and just, deliver. Uh, because yeah. you, do you feel like a little bit burdened? The fact that you're carrying, you're a Marley. People expect certain standard from you and expect you to be a Marley in what you do. Do you even have that, that consciousness? No, just be ourselves, each individual self. That's yeah. all really what it is. Um, but no burden, I've never, I've never felt burden about that. Okay. All right, let's pause a minute and take a little piece of your, your video. Hi Lola, me love how your body shape like a bottle of Coca-Cola Feel free to call me from a pop, your Motorola It's good to know you when you want a great time I'm the man to call overnight time I might and to pull up in a dick Corolla Bring a few spliffs when me already roll up The moon sparks a night cruising on the gondola I'll give this up to you, call me your organ donor from a Comfortable is the name of that one from Joe, Joe Mercer, one of his videos, his many videos. Um, so Joe, who's, who's got credits on this one? Um, myself, my father, and Riff Raff, Lamar Brown. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And Stephen is the producer? Yeah. Okay. All right, so talk about now the new project that you're in Jamaica promoting at the moment. Burn It Down. Yes. Um, a project featuring my, my younger brother, Johan Marley. Um, more, you would have said, no, dubstep kind of roots, more kind of style thing. Mm -hmm. um, a blaze of fire still, you know, just, just a, a purge, a, a more spiritual fire, a more purgeful fire, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it's a burnout corruption, just a, a, add to the fire. Okay. So there's no video for it yet, so we can't show a music video has been made, I take it. Uh, yeah. Right, because it's a brand new project and it's, it's, it's a bigger, it's part of an album, which will be out when? When will that album come? Later on in the, the year, closer, maybe closer to the end of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, Who, what's on it? Um, what are some of the topics? What are you, where are you most comfortable, Joe, in terms of topics and what you um, sing and, and so on, your styling and stuff? Enough, enough topics. Love. Um, Loyalty, betrayal, enough, enough, enough topics, enough mm -hmm. topics. Um, more, more conscious tunes, I can say. And, and more speaking to the youths and, and to, to our generation, you know what I mean? Yeah. This album will be you, defining you, right? Isn't it? Uh, yeah. One wants to know who is Joe Mercer. Uh. You take up this album when it is released and we will know who you are at this point in time. Uh -huh. uh, not necessarily who you will be in eventually, or, uh -huh. but for right now, you are going to be defined in this dispensation, in this moment. This album will define who you are at this point of your life. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I strongly feel that way. Um, you would get for say a more versus the EP, the, the EP that I had released, Comfortable, which had more 
songs for the Empress them. Yes. So this one more, you more, you more. As you say, you get for see, you get for see a more. Um, you get for see the whole, the more Joseph, the the my full personality and 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 that 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 um. Where my head, where my head is, you mm -hmm. know, in in music. Yeah. Same. All right, let's take a little piece of the single now. Let's just pause right here and see if we can give a little sample of this single. Here we go. I'm gonna set this place on fire. Burn it down entirely. Say Babylon for your time has expired. Brimstone, thunder and lightning. I'm gonna set this place on fire. Burn it down entirely. All right, there you have it. Just a sample. Burn it down. The single, the brand new single by Joe Mercer. And this, this single is available, I, I take it, on online and stuff? Yeah, hey, iTunes, iTunes, Amazon, um, every, every one of them. Mm -hmm. Apple Music, the whole of them. Okay, cool. When, what's the future holding for you? Um, oh, oh, go on the road. I go on the road with, with my father mm -hmm. oh, on the 26th of May. Mm -hmm. and that tour goes till, till maybe about the end of August, but I go, go jump off of the tour in the early July to, to start rehearsal and go embark on a tour with UB40. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Quite a, an itinerary already for you, Joe. All right, sir. Thanks for coming and sharing with us right uh, here on thanks, stage. Yeah, Blessed love. Yes. All right. Here you have him right here on stage, Joe Mercer. Third generation Marley. Stay with us till to come. Vini Man condemns extreme dancing in dance hall and issue his own apology to a young female at one of his concerts. Juna Kelly is also on our show. Ten studio albums later. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back in 2001. This was one of, if not the biggest reggae song in the world. Tell me if love's so nice, tell me why it hurts so bad. An instant classic that delivered the all-important bus for Juna Kelly. Missing again if love so nice. That opened doors for the Lanky Sing J everywhere in the global reggae space. Take this love and see. And soon he was being compared to artists like Sizzler and Capertown. Yes, missing you. By the mid-2000s, Juna Kelly ranked among the most toward artists in reggae. Everybody needs somebody to help them fight the fight. Today, 10 studio albums later, an update from Junior Kelly, urban poet, right now, right here on our stage. Should we call you or, or the album? Urban poet. Urban poet. Urban poet is good. Welcome, sir. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so um, where are you based these days? Jamaica, Just, Spanish town. You never relocate? No, I never relocate. No, you're always touring. You, uh, it seems to me that you're always touring. Am I correct or not? Yeah, you're correct. You're correct. Where have you, where, talk about some of the places you've been, uh, well, Junior. The length and breadth of South, South America, which is mm -hmm. um, from Mexico to Chile, and all over Europe, all the, the countries in Europe, you know? All right, so it's easy for us in Jamaica in particular mm -hmm. to say Love So Nice is yeah. your biggest record. In your catalog. Yes, yes. Today. Would you agree with that? Yes, yeah, still the biggest. It's still sought after by, by everybody. You know, if I go on stage, I have to sing it. Mm -hmm. yes, people are going to be disappointed. We have some really hardcore fans that's been there from Jump Street. They want to hear that. It's like, mm -hmm. it's more than an anthem to them. It, at the time in their lives, it's as if they were going through the same exact thing that this song was depicting. So, so it's, the popularity is universal? Yes, it is. So, so, so Jamaica isn't... Because there are times when an artist like you who travels so much. Yeah, well, the, pop, the popularity, yes, it's global. But I think it's the line that made it global. That if love's so nice, why it hurts so bad. It's a really 
a Zero powerful, a yeah, powerful yeah, line, yeah, yeah. A, a powerful piece of poetry. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, sir. So, yeah, because I wanted to clarify that because in, in some places, like in Europe and mm -hmm. in in South America and in Japan and so on. Yeah. One can be very big and a big song, platinum even, yes, or, or, and so on, gold, and nobody knows that song. There you go. And we know that you've released all of 10 albums. Yes. When we're not hearing an artist burning up charts and in our face every day. And in the diaspora. In the diaspora, we say the artist and not going nothing. <laughs> so I want to be clear on, on it, because when one hears 10 albums from Junior Kelly and they're looking in their catalog and they can find a couple more tracks that they, have, they would consider to be hits. Mm -hmm. But they're not finding a slew of hits, mm -hmm. that, um, any, enough hits to compare you. Back to back to continue, hits. Right, to continue to compare you with people like Caperton and Sizzler and so mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. um, because that was a comparison that was made at, at the start of the 2000s when you just bust. Yeah, I think that the, comparison was made based on the fact of the type of lyrics, yes. the lyrical content, the, um, the, the, the um, yes. you know? Your styling, your yeah, delivery, yeah, your, your, exactly. your, your consciousness. And, and, not with, yes. uh, and not with any financial resources, because that's another story. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, I try to stay true to the craft, and I've always said, you know, the, the, the best I can wish for is consistency. And I'm not going to um, erode my consistency, or erode my viewpoint on, on the terms of how I approach the music, the things I put on record. It's very important to me, because I mm -hmm. call every one of my creation, in terms of music, my child. Mm -hmm. I give birth to that creation. So if an individual come to me with something that is going to go against my principle and want me to voice for them, I'm going to gracefully decline. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and I've always been in the lab. So yes, it's, as I say, if I not top the charts in the diaspora and in Jamaica, um, people tend to think, say, not now go on for artists like myself, but I'm touring endlessly. Yes, yeah, so, so, so sum up your progress for me. How do you feel about your progress, yourself, your own view on your career, 15, 16 years since your, your break? Okay, my view on my progress is this. Um, I start by saying, the worst thing somebody can come up to me and say, in Jamaica, mm. Kelly, you still have the music. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, okay. I've, gotten and it. I've gotten it on several occasions. I'm going to smile. It's been the same thing that's been feeding me and, and, and my loved ones. Uh, mm. This is my life. There's nothing else I, I'd rather to do than music. You know, it's like my, it's like my wife. You know mm. what I mean? So um, I feel bad about that. And I know it's because a lot of people are not hearing me as often on the, 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 the radio waves in Jamaica and in the diaspora. We, we are now intended to change that. That's our intention okay. now with solid works like Urban Poet because I've been always turning out material, you know. But Clearly. I, the greatest thing is to always have good material so, and always training yourself mentally and physically. So when the break comes, you know, you know, catch on a slump, you know, catch off guard, mm -hmm. you know. And as them say, with their pants down, so to speak, you're ready to exploit you're, it. Yeah, to, to exploit it. So I'm not going to be complacent. I'm yes. still a study, you know, I broaden my, my vocabulary. And, and I'm still a train myself for that, that big break because uh, another big break. Because, yeah, if people might say you're, you're not known as much as you used to be in, in the diaspora and in Jamaica. And a lot of people are not going around a computer and there's one button you need for press. And everything does reveal to you how well I'm doing. Let me give you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of credit. Um, maybe I've not, I've not said it to you before, but let me say this. That after, you, after the break, mm -hmm. and Love So Nice, Burn Up The Place, and you came with um, what would now be called an EP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of new releases. Yes. And uh, you have a whole slew of new songs. And you're one of the few artists that I've seen who's performed these new songs <laughs> to an audience live and the place appear for hours you're getting. Yeah. This was at Jamaica Grand sometime in that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you were performing live songs. Mm -hmm. I think it was CME or, yes, or a yes, conference. Yes, yes, yes it was. And you were performing these songs that were brand new because your catalog was very, was very small at yeah, the time. Yeah, of course. So you had to do new songs. And every word we could, we could hear as a sing-jay, mm -hmm. we could hear the lyrics 
for the song and understood the song enough to give you a forward. Yeah, a thumbs up. Very few yeah. artists, very few artists we credit for that. Yeah. And, and we're not talking about one Thank song. Thank you very much. Or a piece of a song. We're yeah. talking about several Clarity songs. is important. Um, Butcher Banton did it once at some fest in the 90s. Yes. An entire album was played. And in dance hall, you don't do that. Yeah, you don't nobody, do that. Nobody, yes. don't, yeah. nobody does that. And Butcher did it and took the, took the night. <laughs> that's very unusual, Kelly. And that's yeah, yeah. where you were, as far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. back then. I can do the same thing now and even yes. um, top, top that. Why? Because I think I know my material is current and, and, and with the time, mm -hmm. one. Two, I know I have the energy and the strength to deliver on stage without a doubt. Um, age now have nothing for me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's just to plug these gaps and it's just to get, to seize those opportunities as they arise. All right, so explain for me then what's on this Urban Poet. 16 wonderful tracks, 15 and tracks, 15 tracks and one um, bonus track, 16 tracks. All right, let's take, one, let's take one right away, right here. About the power to the people, and let me tell you about the power of the people. Take away the power from the people People are gonna rise up Cause that's how people stay yeah. Power to the people Come let's get together and be some powerful people Cause that's how people stay yeah. Alright, power, power to the people from Junior Kelly Very, Very relevant topic, ever relevant topic Power to the people, Reggie, nice So that's out there and rotating right now yeah, already yeah, And yeah. it's leading what's on the album So, mm -hmm. so yeah, you were about to tell us what else is on it yes well um, we have um, three singles mm -hmm. um, that we're promoting power to the people is one of course um, and you have um, everybody needs somebody mm -hmm. you know as another single and then dig it up okay so the, all of them is in this style or, or no what? it's it's different each style is different yes. each style, this is of because course we know you, you a, 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 one, like that. a one drop reggae style a little bit faster tempo than a one a regular traditional one drop power mm -hmm. to the people is on um, everybody needs somebody. Really, really wonderful song. It's a thing that's going to creep up on people. And Dig It Up is, is it's an, acoustic, it's an acoustic song depicting um, crime and violence, gun violence. And, okay. You know, it's not really basically Jamaica's overall, but mm. yes, I, I, I definitely sure so this song is going to take off because it's, it's relevant. And your marketing for this project is very different from your usual marketing yeah, approach. Yeah, yeah. You're starting from here, you're launching from Jamaica, from the diaspora, yes, the Jamaica. You're yes. going after the Jamaican space. Yes, we're going after the Jamaican space, ag aggressively, mm. I might add, you know, and because a lot of people don't understand who is in the, the, the business, even with the, the white um, like Caucasian um, reggae artists over in Europe, over in, in, in the Pacific, mm -hmm. you know, um, their, their, basically, their approach, their, their approach is from outside of Jamaica, inward. Mm -hmm. And for some strange reason, when you come on to a, a reggae artist that lives in Jamaica, born in Jamaica, make the boss in Jamaica, his ripple must be from the epicenter, which is Jamaica, outward. Mm -hmm. People tend to have, give it more credibility. People tend to respect, say, for some strange reason, people tend to respect it from here, outward, than from outside of Jamaica, inward. inward. You know? Okay, so the, the, authentic, uh, the authenticity yeah. is, easy, is easier to, to achieve yeah, yeah. when you're based here. Yeah. I want to tell you about... if you're based there. Yeah, I'll tell you an example. The song, I forgot the group, Say Yes, Say Yes. Is that song there? Mm -hmm. um, but I grew up on, when I made up on tour, I see it for the first time I premiere, I may say, this song boss, you know. But it'll go, it go on some mainstream, which it did, um, some mainstream um, 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 radio and TV, and people are going just respect the fact say it's so big because it's rotating ideas, because the power of advertisement is, <laughs> is very, very strong. Yeah. You understand? So it might work for them because their, 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 their platform is not no local, local platform. You see it on MTV, and we Jamaicans tend to watch those channels a lot right maybe too much mm. and so for me maybe it wouldn't work you understand i'm kind of glad say for me you have to get your thumbs up and your respect from yard first outward my prefer it that way there all right Judah kelly sir so good to have you right here on thank stage thanks for sharing with us of all course. the best 
with your Urban Poet album, Thank you. your latest, the tenth album yes. from your yes, from your catalog, and um, we can only wish you well. And we hope this approach, this Jamaica approach, yeah, man, will work, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right, there you have him, Junior Kelly, the love so nice boss. Stick with it. When we come back, right here on stage, the dance or king, be the man. He will be putting out fires. He'll be defending and condemning happenings in dancehall. Some of the biggest topical issues facing dancehall right now. Beanie Man is out front on just about every single one of those issues. You don't want to miss this. If you're ready for the summer, let's go. Shout it out and let me know. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back. The last time the king of the dance hall was right here on our stage. He was on a campaign against extremities in the physical dance hall space. More specifically, ladies stripping nude in the dance. Well, 11 months have passed since then. And the gal them sugar is singing the same song but to a different tune. Yeah. This time, the extremity at hand is male dancers taking their antics with females in the dance too far, much too far. An issue that many would say is not new. But after a video surfaced on social media this week with what appears to be a group of male dancers attacking a female, Said issue came into sharp focus as the video captures attention worldwide. Bean Man is out front on our stage right now on that topic with his own much talked about issue with females in dancehall. Bean, welcome, sir, Doc. Blessings, well. Good to have you. Yes, it, actually, it's female because one female we're talking about. Yeah, so it's not. Females. No, it's one female. You one female, yeah. and you've issued an, uh, um, an, an apology. apology. Yeah. Public. To this young lady, yeah, um, for your action, yeah, blessings. All right, and that is behind us now, yeah. But you know, those watching now, yeah, so now yeah. overseas are going to wonder, yeah, yeah, what this issue was about. Oh, so we, they, we, we, you need to sum it up for me. Okay, um, I was on stage, yes, performing. Um, they have girls that you know when the girls them feel nice, them jump in front of the artist and dance and thing. So I, I was approached by two other girls, and this girl came from the, the, the front of the stage. Yes. Why not? But, you know, she had and everything, but sh she was muddy at the time, like, seriously. Muddy? muddy. Yeah, like. Girl, the mud up kind of mud up, or? No, <laughs> muddy. <laughs> just kidding, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so she was, she was dirty, yeah. more or less. Yeah, so w w when we got so bam, so I look for her, it's like she had pink and white and mud. Okay. Yeah, but we, we the, the, the Jamaican st style, I say, instead of me say, hey girl, you know, see, you, 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 you see it? Mm -hmm. the, you're dirty, me say. We can't say it on TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so that is what people took offense to. Yeah. So you didn't actually dance with her after? No, me, me that dance with her before. Yes. But when we go to and look now, I say, so All right. you, so we what, have a long performance. What was your issue? Why you didn't want that? No, me never, me, me, me never dirty. have an issue, you know. Yeah. Me never have an issue, but as I said, she, 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 she came off stage. Yes. Me, me, never, me, me never have an issue. Me I like, still dance that. Oh, you will. Me, me, yeah, me okay. never have an issue. Oh, you just say that? Yeah, me just say that. It's what you said and not what you did. No, it's not what I did. Because even yeah. though you said that, you were still Yeah, we just said that. that. So, me, me look upon her and I said, don't you know what I said? You don't And she said, yeah. I'm mm. sorry for do that. Some people read some other meaning yeah. into it. Well, I, I say, you, you, you have people where... So, is your apology accepted? Well, I, I, I would think so. While mm. I was on stage, yes. I spoke to her and asked her if she feel offended. Yes. And she said, no. Okay. Oh, you did? Yeah, I spoke to her right there on stage in, in front of her. Oh, him. so yeah. you didn't, but you didn't actually apologize. No, I did apologize. You did? Her. Right there and then. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, you did? Right yeah. away? Yeah. Okay. So it's... But you, nobody seems to find a video with that. That's why I did a public apology. All right. So, okay, good. So, so that brings us now to 
your campaign. Yes, sir. God. Your latest campaign. <laughs> yes, God. Well, your campaign, because you've been campaigning for a while about extremities in dancing, yeah. right? Um, women doing okay. Uh, well, I would say women are driven. Driven. To Let me put that word in there. Things, yeah. You have are to, driven you have to, to do, do that. all kinds of different things. Extreme sexual yeah, things, things in dance. Hall. In dance. Hall. Yeah. And you came and burn it out. Yeah, right, sure. You burn it out big right here on, big our, time. on our stage yeah. last time you were here. What go on now with 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 the, the dancer? What name? What have him? Yeah. I said, yeah. Remember I say I him and the man will lift up the girl and fly off of the the, the, <laughs> the building and, and land in a bar. Yes. With our next girl in it. So it's, it, it's, it, it's not dance hall, it's extreme mm -hmm. dance hall. Is the, the music even relevant anymore? Well, the music is relevant. The problem is. Is it the songs that are being played that are. That, I know you're not that's, getting that's, it. The problem is, yeah. there's so many dancers in the dance hall now. You have yeah. a next dancer want to be extreme. So him can be talk about more than a ding dang, him can talk about more than a. A, a shelly belly. But is Marvin it? is a great dancer. I mean, I don't understand where I do, where I do. So if a man decides to he, he, he jump off of the roof, Marvin is going to fly off of the roof. Because he must be the yeah, one. Yeah. He must outdo everybody else. Blessing. So if a girl foot broke or her back broke, he's on her expense. But why are there so many women interested in participating in these extremities? No. No, for the woman, they don't no, no know where they're going to do until they actually do it. You know. Okay. A girl just decides she feels nice and she and her liquor and the youth they look cute, so mm -hmm. she's going to dance with him and they like him can dance. When she starts dancing with him, now her foot half of the ground, she loses balance, she doesn't have nothing else mm -hmm. to do. When you take a female half of her balance, and then you have a next man that jump in her back, and then you have a next man that jump on her side, and then you have a man that put a bucket over her head, it's disrespect to the woman 100% because she have no control over what she's doing. Mm -hmm. It's not like she are involved. If she a, a turn you over back and a flick you over back, then a man can say, well, the girl is angry herself. But then... She didn't stand a chance. She was no, being stormed. It's, I don't want to say that I'm to my daughter. I don't want to say that I'm to my sister. I don't want to say that I'm to my girlfriend. Or, no, by the way. So you are condemning these? Yes, Rastafari, 100%. When the female them dance, my lad, just watch how them dance, my lad. They want to bend them back and they want to whine and they want to do them thing. Dance with them like how they want you to dance with them. Yes. Don't dance with them like how you and your friend them want to dance with them. Your friend want to jump on her back. Your friend want to jump on her head. You want to put a bucket over her head. God know, my lad, seriously, it's disrespect to the woman them, my lad. Mm -hmm. And we don't appreciate that, no man. I appreciate that. We see it now dance, and we say, but I would them do. But we now move to it. Each and every man, we stop make we come on TV and talk about these things. We feel just make a stand in the dance hall. I say, let go that, that's not good, my lad. Yes. This video has oh, been talked about worldwide. And we hope worldwide. to have Marvin on our show to, to explain his point of view on this. Because I, I clearly well, I don't I dance understand up, it. I've a dancer point of view, him just a dancer now. Yes, but I want to hear from him. Um, I want him to defend, Lessons, defend why action. he's been doing these things yeah. in dances. Because uh, every man must have a story. We'll give him a coffee a chance to explain it. Yeah, God. So, okay, Billy. So let's talk about some other things now involving you, sir. Me. Let's talk about um, Cartel's album. Yeah. He released an album, King of Dance Hall. Yeah. What, what's your take on that? that I can't have a take on it. You don't have a take? No, King of the Dance is a name. If Cartel wants to name his album, King of the Dance Hall. It's right? just a title? Yeah, it's just a title. You don't have an issue with, with Cartel, do you? No, not really. OK. All right, so that, that's that. Mavada, where are you with Mavada? Me, me not have an issue with the media. The, the, the issue is resolved behind both of you no, or the, behind the, you? I, it's, the, uh, there's no hate in my heart okay. for Mavada. Mm -hmm. See? Him? All right. Every time I say Mavada, I say Brian. Brian and my little brother. He is the man who makes me know who Mavada is, who he was, mm. from where I come from to where I study. Okay. See? Even though my brother did and gone, God rest his soul, every time I say Mavada, I say my brother. Mm. So it's no disrespect to the singer. All right. Hey, Poppy. You're, yeah. you're not something with Poppy too. Popcorn. Why should I? It is being said that you are... Why are you saying these things? No, you, you I'm just saying... People I, say, I want you, you to You hear me say something like take that? Take the opportunity, Beanie. Stop it, man. King Beanie. Popcorn is my friend. Okay. Popcorn is my artist. Then, Drake call me mm -hmm. and call Blue and say, I need to use Galatea of my garments and a song named Controller. Yeah. No. 
Me a man no listen to too much radio, you know. I listen to what? See? Last time I've been to a dance, me hear a new popcorn and a Drake play, which was controller. Mm -hmm. So when them say controller, me, me cannot think in my mind the same song. So mm -hmm. anyway, we signed the paper, Drake sends me to do a, a, a intro or outro. So I do an intro and send it. And then put the song on the album. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Why he, he, a, a next Jamaican replace a next Jamaican for a song? Jamaican don't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. The last dance hall number one billboard song is Rihanna. And the one before that is um, Justin Bieber. Mm -hmm. So why when Jamaicans are getting highlights in all of these hip hop worlds and this type of music? Why people don't appreciate people always try to speak bad. I, I don't know nothing to Popcorn. Popcorn, I'm a friend. Mm -hmm. So and you he's still up on the album. <laughs> you know, that must say, I'm just saying, he's on the album, you're on the yeah, album. Yeah, he's still up on the album. And I'm saying that if people are saying things, beanie. Because yeah. I don't know what is blowing this. But in social media, you know this. People get yeah, look for negative and blow because. them up. But you must take the opportunity when you're on a, a platform like this, which yeah. is going global, yeah. and make sure that people understand where you, no, where you are on the issue. And that's all I'm asking you to yeah, do. Just to, to say to people that we are not on the issue. The, yes. I have no issue with popcorn. I have no issue with what people want to say because criticism is what keep artists on their toes. Mm -hmm. If you don't criticize an artist, he don't know if the, the glass broke. So okay. he don't know what to fix. Mm -hmm. You get the message. So, it is it, it, something that we, 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 we look out for, but it is it, something that elevates us mm -hmm. and gives us more spirit and more strength to do more work. Because if you're not doing nothing good, nobody not talk about you. How did you respond to Billboard magazine declaring Sean Paul dance or king? Yeah, well, if them declare dance, them, them say it's their dancer, it's their king of the dancer. Mm -hmm. I cannot have nothing to say about that. This is Billboard magazine, this is their magazine, and this is their opinion. Okay. It's not mine. But it was based on sales, record sales. Yeah. So is, is, if them say Sean Paul sells six million, and in their opinion, Sean Paul is the king of the dance hall, I applaud Sean Paul. Mm -hmm. 100%. Yeah, because it's actually working. You know, I want to say, yeah. King Beanie, that yeah, yeah. Um, you are. And sometimes I think you're, you're over-defending your legacy. No, I, Can I just say this? Yes. Allow yes, me to say this. Yes, yes. I think that sometimes some of these things you must totally... I didn't say you, you tried to defend anything as no, relates I to don't, Sean yeah. Paul. I wanted I did, to hear what your not. views are. Yeah. Because I thought... I, thought I it, applaud Sean Paul, 100%. Good. It's good to know. Because, yeah. it, but sometimes it seems to me that you're constantly defending your legacy. Why? Why do you think and, because we, you know, you're on the defensive among a lot, uh, uh, a lot of times. A lot of issues come up with like Mavada or whatever. And yeah. you sound defensive. I'm okay. not saying you're attacking so him. Defensive. You're defending okay. true, true, your true. legacy. And I don't think that you should be should you, defending you, my legacy. You need to. True. It is work done. Not yeah. even you can erase your work. What I have done. You true. are a dancehall legend. True. And anybody don't know that could talk till God come. It's not going to change. Not even you can change it. I cannot if change it. If you die today or you disappear yeah. or you mash up, the it's body of done. work will still stand still done. Still as a stand. legendary um, dancehall artist, Beanie Man. Dancehall's history cannot be written with you, with, with you not with, getting paid. Yeah, true, that's so true. I don't think you have to defend anything because your work will speak for itself no, well, now and in the future. Yeah. So the defense thing... But you, this is the problem where I said me and my father in an argument because I'm not trying to defend nothing. Mm. Because if me I try to defend it, I go say the man try to disrespect me. I don't know. He said, better you cool at your dark and go simmer. Mm. I don't cool. Yeah. I make music every year. I have a hit song, two, three hit songs every year. Mm. I don't feel I, 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 I are cool. Yeah. I don't feel the man where him, 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 him a true word pan. He's supposed to use me as an example. So if you cool at your dark and go simmer. Mm. I, I, I never find that funny. Okay. So this is the reason why. Fair I'm enough. In the Fair enough that you don't find such a yeah. I, 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 it's not a compliment. But it either. should not have escalated into um, a song, into anything. I mean, it should sure. not have es escalated. I mean, making a song, you know, we don't take yeah, songs seriously. Yeah, but that was the song. But but, but it never escalated or nothing because I never did nothing else. Mm. I just did the song. 
All right. I never me. even defend the song. All right, let's. Uh, well, the song didn't even release. <laughs> okay. All right. The, well, the song didn't even release because it's is what name? The, the producer mm. didn't accept the song. Yeah. The song just playing on the radio. Mm. The song didn't release. Me never forced the song release. Or the song going away. The song just escape on YouTube. The nuffy one. That nuffy thing there. What, what is that? That you 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 put dance all out there and you, you're in a. A feud now yeah, with, with Nuffy. Jeez, me and a feud with Nuffy. Jesus Christ. No, is it? Are you? <laughs> deaf ears, deaf ears, get liar problem. You know? Okay. All right, good. Listen to what I say. Yeah. Me have an interview in a Billboard magazine. Mm. See, when I'm asking about dancehall music, I said, I bring dancehall to the world. Mm -hmm. Meaning that every stage you see me upon, I bring dancehall to the world. That's the meaning. Did I you? am not you Rye. Yeah. I am not I Rye. I am not skin stitch. Mm -hmm. I could not introduce dancehall to the world. Come on, how stupid could, could I be? Josie will no hold on me. Mm. Brigadier Jerry no hold on me. Shabarank. Charlie Chaplin them no hold on me. Shabaranki them no hold on me. I bring dancehall to the world, meaning I don't sing hip hop nor R and B nor anything else. But did you clarify that? Did I did, did read the interview? Okay. okay. Fair Jesus enough. Christ, man. <laughs> All right. Their fears get liar problem. <laughs> okay. Who can read dance in a foolishness? All right. Simple. So, so you're, you were taking your take on out of context. You, you do, do not quote me if you're Re misquoting. OK, but remember, Anna, my question wasn't that yeah, you were Jesus. properly quoted or unquoted. OK, thank you for My much. question was if you're in a feud with nothing. No, for what, man? Okay. Nothing's not dead. Nothing I'm looking at MC from over Portmore. I'm rate him. I respect him. Him, him, him make a mistake, him just need to accept that. Mm -hmm. Say, I never say I introduce dancehall to the world, I bring dancehall to the world. All right, can we talk about your album, sir? Blessings, my life. Finally, now we can go to something more positive. Your, your album. Yeah, long okay. time you know about the album. Did, How long? Ah, nine years. Nine years? No, I make an album every year now. Mm. Don't get it twisted. But? I make an album every year. But I haven't released the album for nine years now. Oh, okay. So, well, <laughs> you make a song. So make an album like, every year. You actually work on an album? Yeah, every year. And you don't release them? Why? Yeah, Why because we, 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 uh, the right promotion, mm -hmm. the right people who for work okay. on the, the, the album and the thing, it's not like we just release an album and know Sabine and release an album. Mm -hmm. That's not how we release albums. Mm -hmm. Every album we release is notified and the world know it. Yes, a whole machinery is needed. Yeah. So which, which the whole machinery never there behind. Behind you to, yeah. to make sure that it gets to the people. Blessings. Right. Yeah. So I understand that. I understand that really, really easy. So what's on it, though? What, so this one is definitely going <laughs> so to be. Yeah, I'm murder, I'm murder. This one is going to be released. Yeah, this when? one is going to be released. When? Be, before the summer, before July. We don't have a date yet. I want you to, to send out an appeal. Mm. To an appeal to for what? To the dance hall space. The album is called Unstoppable. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> All right, sir. Yes. I'm sorry. My, my the album is going to be There's so many things at the time. We're out of time. But yes. go ahead so and say. Anything the album is going to be released before July. Just listen out for the date and just check the Unstoppable. press. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. How many tracks? The album is going to have 12 to 14 tracks. Yeah, we have a few collaboration. Yeah, we have Buster Rhyme, Sean Paul. We have... Um, Sizzler, Assassin, yeah. The, the <laughs> well, a good yeah, we have artist good collaborating pro with all your friends are at, Yeah, man. The, the Warlord is on it? Proper production. Warlord, yeah. Tristan Palmer. Oh. Yeah. Tristan? Right. Yeah, original. Tristan the original Palmer, yeah. Tris Tristan. Yeah, yeah. 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 nice. Nice. Yeah. Original Dancehall Foundation original artist. Original Dancehall Foundation artist. Nice, yeah. nice. The album nice, man. That's Looking cool. forward to that. Yeah, man. This is the album when you put it in your, your, your CD player. I you put in your MP3 player, you put in anything, you just play it till it finish. You know, Doc, you, you seem to be a very happy man, in spite of all the year. Uh, I am happy, man. You're happy? My life nice, man. I have no problem. After all, new, new girlfriend. So a new girlfriend alone make your life happy? But that has got to be number one. <laughs> what else is, what else is going to be oh, top that? What can top that? Oh, God. Kids. Well, the kids, yes. Blessings. But, okay. Are your kids. grandmother still alive? Oh, yeah, well. All right. Mm, mm, yeah. The kids, yes, the kids. <laughs> oh, your kids are doing nice. Yeah. Crystal graduated yeah. now from, from high school? 
that she she's going on to college, college university yeah. yeah nice and the others they're all doing well in yeah school? everybody great mm. but yeah my new girlfriend yeah crystal yeah. so yeah. crystal is crystal, is, crystal. Ah, yeah. nice. And it's <laughs> official and yeah. and a joke thing and, and a, joke and thing. a, and a rumor nice. in social media. No. There is a new girlfriend and she's Crystal Tomlinson. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so everybody know now. May God go to the coming Are we okay. breaking it? Yeah. No. Are we telling them the truth <laughs> after all the, the, the rumors? Okay. That's nice. There's no rumors. Vidima. Respect boss. Doctor Life King Vidima. The album Unstoppable. Look out for it. Because it is unstoppable. And look out for Cartel album, King of the Dance Hall. It's going to be nice. It's a great thing. Yeah. Ah. Blessings. All right. There you have it right here on stage. Our very special guest in this segment, the King of the Dance Hall. Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Always so much more than entertainment. Me can't tell me not me house, cause my wife just a ningy 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 in me ears right now, me want mad. Peep through the fence and see one bag of girl in me neighbor yard a guam bad. I'm more than ten, if I know more than ten thousand right now, me can't add. Somebody gone with me car, but me glad I'm not far, cause big pool party a guam explore. Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more where that came from. Stories of hurt and betrayals, dramatic arguments. I was an R&B hip hop singer. I wasn't, I didn't have nobody disrespecting me on the internet.